Hi, this is my movie review for The Fault in Our Stars. I had a chance to watch the movie a couple of weeks ago, and last week I attended the gala premiere for The Fault in Our Stars. I've now seen it two times, so I think I'm ready to talk about it. First of all, of course, some disclaimers. I am a big fan of this book. I've read it about five times. I wrote my dissertation on it, so you could say I'm a little bit attached to it. And also in this video, obviously, I will be discussing the movie, so if you want to stay away from spoilers, then don't watch this video. So first of all, I just kind of want to break it down and give you a general idea of what I thought of the movie. So let's just imagine that I'm picking up all the romance in the movie and putting that over there, which we'll discuss later. Everything that remains I thought was perfect and wonderful and thought it was just so beautifully done. And then there's the romance bit, which I would like to split in half. Half of it I thought was really, really well done and so lovely, and the other half of that was just kind of overly cheesy and I didn't think it worked that well. But overall, as a movie, I still really, really enjoyed it. So first, let's get some things out of the way that I thought didn't really work in the movie. Augustus staring at Hazel when he first sees her at the support group just, you know, gave me a bit of a flashback to Twilight. I just thought it was a little bit too much. And then of course we have the cigarette metaphor. A thing that I thought worked really well in the book just didn't translate to screen that well. Just the image of him with the unlit cigarette in his mouth I just found very strange. The only time I thought it worked was when they were on the plane and the air hostess was telling him that that metaphor wasn't allowed on the plane. And then of course there is the kiss in the end Frank house. Now I thought that at the beginning the kiss was fine and then they kind of continue kissing and then there was the applause. Once again, worked really well in the book, and seeing it translated into the movie just the thought was really odd. And then finally, there are just some quotes that oh, I just wish I could go in and slightly tweak. A lot of it does work when it's said out loud, and some of it just needs to be changed slightly, I think. For example, the I'm on a roller coaster that only goes up my friend quote, I feel would have worked a lot better if the my friend bit at the end would have been taken out. Because I feel like that in a movie is kind of what pushes it over the edge. Okay, so that was kind of my main criticism of the movie, let's move on to all the parts I absolutely loved. First of all, the actors really, really looked like teenagers and not like 25 year olds trying to play teenagers. I thought Shailene in particular was absolutely fantastic as Hazel. A lot of movies can't really pull off the, oh, I'm not wearing any makeup look, so they still put loads and loads of makeup on a character who's not supposed to be wearing makeup. So I thought that the way Hazel looked, clothes and everything was um, absolutely spot on. I loved one of the first scenes between Hazel and Gus where they were talking about their favorite books. I thought it was really funny and this movie had so many laugh out loud moments. I've now seen it with two different audiences and everyone was just laughing all the time. You know, when they weren't crying. The Night of the Broken Trophies, absolutely fantastic and hilarious. And of course the scene where they egg the car, I felt like that was definitely the most John Greenish moment in the entire movie. I thought that both the funeral scene and the scene in the literal heart of Jesus were absolutely perfect and so beautiful. I only cried once during the movie, both times, and it was during the literal heart of Jesus scene. One of the funniest moments in the beginning of the movie is when they're at the cancer support group and they're all singing, and I just want to point out that on the official soundtrack, when you take out the CD, there's the literal heart of Jesus. The soundtrack, by the way, is amazing. I've been listening to it for weeks and weeks. My favorite song is definitely Boom Clap by Charlie XCX. The music video for that was recorded in Amsterdam, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Of course, in the movie, they go to Amsterdam, and as I'm from the the Netherlands, I'm a little bit biased, but I thought they did such a good job of showing Amsterdam because they didn't really film on sunny days and sunny days is when Amsterdam is at its ultimate best, but they still just managed to convey kind of the realness of it. It didn't look like a Hollywood version of Amsterdam, which I really liked. For a second I thought I was gonna cry at that scene just because I really miss Amsterdam sometimes. Peter Van Houten was absolutely perfect and seeing my last name, Fliegendhart, on the screen when they were typing out the emails was a little bit unreal. And finally, of course, we have Hazel's parents, and I thought their relationship was really good. It just kind of reminded me of Easy A. I really liked that in the end, the movie was both really sad and really touching, but then on the other hand, it was so funny and kind of lighthearted. And I think that perfectly captures the spirit of The Fault in Our Stars. So those are all my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie, some of your favorite bits, some of your least favorite bits. I'd love to hear about them. I will talk to you guys later. Doei!